going on guys and girls let's help you out with a little a little bit more here good evening it's hard drive here at finetunedcbshop.com too much BS out there CB world and especially the ham world okay uh, let's get into this a little bit okay we're going to be measuring ohms of resistance as you can see first you always check it with an ohmmeter okay now we're going to touch these two and that is through the entire bench okay all this equipment lots of it takes a long time in equipment and test equipment to test equipment to calibrate the test equipment and vice versa to get to that point okay now let's add what's called a transformer that's what this is due to length okay let's see what we got and again this is only resistance like you see here you gotta get a good connection here as you can see connections See that? My own connections. But now you see it. Okay. Okay. Though some people think that the purely resistive load is the same on this line all the way down the line, they are incorrect. They need to pay attention. Whether you're extra class, ham, sea beer be doing it for 50 years etc because it does matter this is what matters because if they don't understand this anything that they touch or put on their bench and attempt to do a tuner and alignment it will be misaligned it's inevitable that includes the transceiver transmit and receive see once you apply RF to this okay radio frequency like your radio you're going to be measuring what's called reactance. Reactance varies with frequency due to capacitance and inductance. Capacitance and inductance cause a phase shift down the wire. If there's anything that I mentioned in this that you don't get, I really suggest that you start studying. Some get it, some don't. Okay? Make sure you got it or don't. They don't understand vectors. Don't let them touch it. I hope this was informative. Have a great evening. It's hard to have a fine tune cbshop.com. I hope you save a fortune.